<laughs> That's all right. I just have a few things to say. It's okay. Um, I just wanted to say, as, as David mentioned, you know, I'm a prevention researcher, so I am not, I do not do cost analysis. So this has been a really a wonderful learning experience for me, and it, just to really have an even greater appreciation, I already had an appreciation, but an even greater appreciation for all of the work that so many of the economists and all do that are, that are here and all the expertise. And I just wanted to, you know, sort of echo a lot of what's already been said, and that is this whole need for the standards, but also to really develop, and someone had mentioned, you know, we assume, and a lot of times policymakers assume that if there's been a, a cost-benefit analysis that there is some standard already there. And so we're, we really are making a lot of decisions based on assumptions. And so I think this, this need to have this quality level um, is really, really important so that we really can improve our ability to do these apple-to-apple -apple comparisons across the areas and the policy areas and the program areas and also within the context that we want to then implement these programs in the future. And then I think Dr. Zerbe in our session, he reiterated something, it's just a, a philosophical thing and we've already mentioned it once but I'm going to mention it again and that is this notion that developing standards is an evolution, it's a developing process. And I think we really need to remember that and the group that hopefully will follow will, will remember that as well. And I thought it was very interesting in our session because we had Margaret who started with her list and we had Lynn who ended with very much the same list. And that was done without design, I understand. And so, but we had these like nice bookends on, on, on our presentations. And while there do seem to be some areas where we have agreement or that these areas could be fairly quickly addressed, another point that was made during our session was the notion that we might not be able to agree on the discount rate or the number, but we could agree on some principles. And I think that would be an important area for the committee to, to, to consider. When we can't have exact agreement on something, we might at least be able to have some agreement on a principle that could guide decisions. And so I think that's a really important thing to remember. Um, we also, in our session, I mean, I thought Dr. Basu, he really gave us some really nice examples of how to deal with the expression for decision uncertainty and um, I thought that was very, very helpful. And also with um, Dr. Carley with really leaving us with this idea again, while we might not be able to have a definitive number, but we may have a base case that we could use and then use others like sensitivity analyses to look at alternate sort of approaches and I thought that was also something helpful and that we should, we should consider. So I guess that's really all that I wanted to say, but thank you for this opportunity. It's been wonderful. I've just been, it's been delightful meeting everyone and hearing all the presentations.